Hi guys, how's it going? David here from um, Kinsale Gourmet Academy. I'm one of the Weber Grill chefs. Uh, I'm up at the Pavilion Garden Centre today in Cork and we're going to do some barbecuing. So what we're going to do today is that we're going to go through these two barbecues here. We've got the Weber Spirit and we have the new Spirit Premium EP335. Um, we're doing a promotion on these barbecues at the moment so you can check out the website and have a look and see what you think. So obviously we're all cooking a lot more at home because of the lockdown. So I'm going to go through a few dishes today just to show you how you can maximise your barbecue and maybe start introducing new dishes into the kitchen. So guys, one of the great things about working with Weber is that they're always bringing out brand new products. So they brought out this new Dutch oven, Duo. Um, so basically, the lid turns into a sear plate. I'm going to cook a dish in a while just to show you how it works, but it's a really, really good product. So at the moment, up in the pavilion, we're actually selling the Spirit Premium um, E335. Uh, with that, you're getting a free Dutch oven. It's a total game changer. You can start soon stews, casseroles, cooking a little bit of delicate fish, adding a bit more smoke to food. So what we have here is I've got my barbecue on full whack. I've removed the center plate out of the uh, GBS system and I've put in the lid off the Dutch oven, okay? So that's now turned into a nice skillet. I've added a little bit of oil. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna roast my mushrooms on top of the skillet, okay? And at the same time then, I've got some really nice steaks here that we have from Ross Carberry Farm who supply all the meat here for us. So I've just rubbed a little bit of oil onto the steaks and we're just gonna drop them on here onto the direct heat. lid goes down. So I got some sweet potatoes and I basically wrapped them in tin foil and I baked them for about 30 minutes until they're the same texture or softness as say banana. Okay so they're lovely and soft and cooked now. So when your barbecue is heating up you can also use that heat to cook a dish and that's why I put these in at the start. So by the time my barbecue is nice and hot and good to go these fellas were cooked. So this lid of the Dutch oven gives you the opportunity so basically have a large frying pan in the middle of your barbecue. You get this really nice color on the mushrooms. You wouldn't get that color if you were to cook directly onto the grate. You'd run the risk of the mushrooms falling down through the grate. So guys, a really good tip that I like to do as well. So with my steaks, I've charred them on one side on the barbecue. And now I'm just gonna char them on the second side on the flat top. The reason being is that as this steak seals in here, it's gonna release some juice, which will help flavor my mushrooms. And then later on when I add the cream and the tarragon and stuff, it's gonna give it a lot more depth of flavor. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And you can see some of the natural juice there. The mushrooms will soak all that up. You squeeze the lemon juice. tarragon and a little drop of mustard I'm going to pour in the resting juice off my steak and just let the steak just rest in that for a second so all I'm going to do here now is get my mushrooms mix them all up just sit them on top of my steak like that and some crispy shallots because I have them hanging around. But again, a very, very simple dish. Um, and because we have the top of the Dutch oven, it's easy for us to fry off those mushrooms and make a very, very quick sauce. Um, so there you go, enjoy.